my name is Amy Fulgham. Thank you for joining me for Under the Same Moon Yoga. This is my December 2020 Intermediate Yoga class. And our theme this month is the theme of fire and ice. Fire to celebrate the winter solstice and the return to light. The days starting to get longer, but ice because we know that it takes a while. We still have winter to get through. So I prepared a vigorous class. Make sure that you are checking in with your body to make sure you are warming up, building that fire, but you're not pushing it too far. So you might want um, a yoga block or a pillow that you can kind of squish together like this for later on in the class towards the end. All right, please join me on your mat in a tabletop. Bring your hands below your shoulders, your knees below your hips, and we will just start here in tabletop. We'll be rocking back and forth a little bit, stretching out the wrists, you may want to turn your hands around to face your knees, rock back and forth a little bit just to stretch out those wrists a little bit, start to warm those up, and go around in a circle both ways. And then slowly and carefully turn your hands back around to the front and find some stillness here in tabletop. We will have a cat and cow, so drop your belly, tuck your toes, inhale, look up for a cow, exhale, cat, that Halloween cat, drop your toes, inhale, tuck your toes, look up for cow, exhale, drop your toes, look down for cat. Inhale, tuck your toes, look up, cow. Exhale, drop your head and your toes for cat. Then come back to neutral. Inhale, you're gonna lift the right leg and the left arm. Extending your left arm up, your right leg back. Inhale, exhale, bring that elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend, exhale, elbow to 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 knee. Bring that left hand back down to the floor, extend your right leg back. Inhale, your right foot forward so the right foot it's right next to your right hand for a variation of lizard. You can move your hips around here, starting to feel some lubrication in your hips. Inhale, exhale here. Inhale, extend the right leg to the back. Exhale, the right knee comes forward between your hands. Place the right foot on the floor. Inhale, lift both arms to the sky. Exhale to the right. Twist to the right. Inhale, lift up to the center. Exhale, twist to the right. With the right arm going back. Inhale, lift up to the center. Exhale, twist right. Now you can bring your right hand to the sacrum, that lower part, right above your buttocks, and stretch to the back. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale the hands back down to frame the right foot. And bring that right foot back to right knee to the floor, back to the tabletop. Inhale. You lift the right arm up. The left leg extends behind, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, 
Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Bring the right hand back down to the floor. Extend the left leg. Bend the left foot to the left knee. So the left foot comes right beside your left hand. And find a little movement here in your hips. In this modified lizard, feel some lubrication here in your hips on this side. Keep breathing, inhale and exhale. Inhale, straighten the left leg to the back. Exhale, the left knee comes between your hands and the left foot plants on the floor. Inhale, lift the arms to the sky. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, lift up to the sky. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, lift up to the center. Exhale, twist. Bring your left hand, left hand here to the sacrum. Stretch back with your right arm. Getting some stretch here in the side body. Keep breathing. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, exhale the hands back down to frame the left foot. And tuck your toes, bring the left foot back to your downward facing dog. And you can walk out your feet here, pedal your feet out. And now find some stillness here in downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale one, the tailbone reaches for the Sky, inhale, exhale, two, external rotation in the top part of your arms, inhale, exhale, look toward your knees or your belly button, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, walk your feet forward, exhale here, you can grab your Hands, grab either elbow and just dangle here. Stretching out the back of those hamstrings. Keep breathing. You may want to bend your knees a little bit, bend and straighten. We're still warming up here. Inhale your hands to the floor. Clasp your hands behind your back, reaching your hands over to the front, stretching out that shoulder blade area, and inhale, roll up, one vertebra at a time. Bring your chin up last, drop your hands here, roll your shoulders to the back a couple of times front. I'm going to rotate my head around to the right and to the left. Come to the front of your mat to find Tadasana with the arms beside your, to the sides and just keep breathing here. Feel that energy coming up through the earth, through the floor, all the way up your spine, your head is effortlessly floating on your neck. Your neck is lengthening and widening. Just think about your neck, letting go of any tension. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, inhale. Hook your thumbs in the front, Stretch your arms up, the little back bend, drop the arms, the hands come behind the back to clasp, straighten your arms and legs. Inhale, your hands down to the floor, your right foot comes back to a low lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin to the floor. Inhale, raise your shoulders up for cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot comes forward between the hands. Exhale, left foot comes forward to meet the right. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. 
Inhale, hook the thumbs, reach for the sky, a little back bend. Exhale, reverse the flow, arms come behind the back to clasp, straighten the arms and legs. Inhale, the hands to frame the foot, left foot comes back to a low lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot comes forward between the hands. Exhale, right foot comes forward to meet the left. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, hook the thumbs, reach for the sky, little back bend. Exhale, reverse the flow. Hands come behind the back, straighten the arms and legs. Inhale, the hands to the floor. Right leg comes back to a low lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot comes between the hands. Exhale, left foot comes forward to meet the right. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hook the thumbs, reach for the sky, little back bend. Exhale, reverse the flow, drop the hands, clasp them behind your back, straighten arms and legs. Inhale, hands to the floor, left foot comes back to low lunge. Looking up, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward between the hands. Exhale, right foot forward to meet the left. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, awkward chair. Exhale, hands to floor, jumper step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look between the hands, jump between the hands. Look up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, awkward chair. Exhale, hands to floor, jumper step back to chaturanga. Inhale, look up. Upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look between the hands, bend the knees. Exhale, jump between the hands. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right foot comes back, warrior one. Exhale, hands to floor. Left foot comes back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot comes forward between the hands. Warrior one on the left side. Inhale, hands to the floor. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And hold five breaths here. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, Exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Inhale, left foot comes between the hands. Lift up for warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. And hold five breaths. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Tailbone is tucked. Inhale. Exhale, three, ribs knitted together, inhale. Exhale, four, sink a little lower, inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale, cartwheel the hands either side of the foot. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot comes forward, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Five breaths here, inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five. Inhale, cartwheel the hands to frame the foot, right foot comes back, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot comes forward, lift up for warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, high lunge, lift the heel. Exhale here. Inhale, warrior three, lift the back leg up. And exhale here, five breaths, inhale. Exhale, one, think about the back leg turning in a bit, inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale, looking up slightly, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four, reach for the back of the room, inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale, both hands come right below your shoulders. Plant the right hand down, lift the left hand up. Full revolved half moon. Inhale. Exhale one. Back leg is straight. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale five. Inhale the left hand back down to the floor. Walk your hands back for standing split. And this time we can have our hips open, get our legs a little higher, and drop your head. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale, exhale five. Inhale, lift the leg. And exhale, curtsy almost all the way down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curtsy almost all the way down. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, curtsy all the way down to bring the right knee outside the left foot. Bring your buttocks down to the floor. Set up for Matsandrasana. Inhale, the left hand comes behind you on the floor. Right arm lifts, twist to the left. And five breaths. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale, exhale five. Inhale, counter twist. Listen carefully, bring both hands to the right side of your mat. Your left leg is going to swing around and the left toes will tuck in the back. Inhale, your right foot comes out flexed. Bring your left arm up as your hips. Plant the left foot down flatly on the floor. Inhale, lift the hips and exhale, lower hips. Inhale, lift, looking at the sky. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, come back to the mental middle. Pl place both of your hands so the fingers are facing to the front of your mat. Your left foot is still planted on the floor. Your right leg comes up to that three-legged dog. And exhale, the right foot comes forward between the hands. Inhale, the left leg comes up. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the hands to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot comes back to a low lunge. Exhale, right foot comes back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot comes up. Lift to warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, high lunge. Left arm comes forward to parallel the right. Left heel comes up. Exhale here. Inhale, warrior three, lift up and exhale in the pose. The left knee straight and reaching for the back of the room. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. 
Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Slightly turn out that back, turn in the back leg. Inhale, exhale, five. Bring both hands right below your shoulders. Keep that left hand planted on the ground. And inhale, lift up, twist to the right for revolved half moon. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Inhale, the right hand back to the floor. Walk your hands back, open up the hips for that standing split. For this time, we're gonna open up the hips, get the leg a little higher, drop the head. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale, exhale five. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, curtsy almost to the floor. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curtsy. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curtsy all the way to the floor. That left knee outside the right foot, buttocks to the floor. Inhale, right hand comes behind the back, left arm lifts. Exhale to the right, Matsindrasana. And inhale. Exhale, one, looking to the back. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Inhale, counter twist. Listen closely. Both hands stay here. The right leg comes back to tuck the toes. Your left leg comes out straight, left foot is flexed. Inhale, lift your hips and your right arm. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, back to the center. But walk your hands to the front. So both, all fingers are facing towards the front of your mat. The right foot is planted on the ground. Lift the left foot up to three-legged dog. Exhale, the left foot comes between the hands for a low lunge. Inhale, the right foot comes forward to meet the left. Look up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. And exhale, Tadasana. Take a deep breath here. One more breath. Inhale, shift the weight onto your left foot. Hug the right knee to your chest. And exhale here. Inhale, straighten the right leg to the front. Lift your arms. Exhale, pull the right now knee through. And high lunge. Inhale, straighten to the front. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, straighten to the front. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, twist to the left and lift up. Inhale, twist to the left and lift up. Inhale, twist to the left and lift up. Inhale, both hands to the floor. Bring your right knee to the floor. Your left arm is going to reach with that foot for a quad stretch. Inhale, exhale, one, opening up the heart center to the left side of the room. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Inhale, keeping that right hand planted on the floor, straighten the right leg. You're gonna flex that right foot to the floor, bring your left foot back for a side plank. Inhale, hips up, exhale down, inhale up, 
exhale down, inhale up, exhale back to the center, inhale lift your left leg, the left foot comes behind you so the balls, ball of the foot is on the floor and reach back for that rock star pose and five breaths here, inhale, exhale one, pushing into the floor with the right hand, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, lifting the hips, inhale, exhale five, inhale, left arm comes back to the floor for three-legged dog, inhale, left foot comes between the hands, bring that right foot in again, but this time you're setting up for Agni Stambhasana, fire logged pose. The left ankle is going to be on top of the right knee and just a little over the, to the side of the right knee. The left knee is over the right foot. Make sure both feet are flexed. This will help protect your knees. Inhale, lift up for a little space here in your abdomen and exhale, walk your hands forward. You might be able to bring your elbows to the floor and drop your head. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale one. Keep breathing. Inhale. Lift to the center. Your toes are going to come to the floor. Your knees are pointing toward the ceiling. And on your inhale, lift up to your boat pose. Now your boat pose might be with your knees bent here. You might be able to straighten your legs. You might be able to reach for the feet. Keep breathing. And exhale. Bring the hands about six inches behind you. Feet are hips width distance apart. Lift up into tabletop. Drop your head. Five breaths. Keep reaching those hips for the ceiling. Inhale your seat to the floor. Lift the legs again. This time you're going to keep the knees bent. Reach forward to grab the big toes and yogi toe lock. And lift your feet to both sides. And hold here. Keep breathing. And drop your feet to the floor. We're going to come into that wide-legged, seated, forward fold. Make sure your knees and your toes keep facing the ceiling. You're not turning in or out. And walk your hands forward. You may need to stop here. You may be able to bring your elbows to the floor. You may be able to bring your forehead to the floor. Whatever is in your practice today, keep breathing. Walk your hands back. Cross your right ankle over your left ankle. Roll forward to your knees. Jump or step back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot. Foot comes between the hands. Right foot comes to meet the left. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urbhastasana. Exhale, Tadasana. Take a deep breath.
Inhale, hug that left knee to your chest. And exhale here. Inhale, the left leg extends forward. Lift the arms. Exhale, bend the knee for high lunge. Inhale, lift to the front. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, lift to the front. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, twist to the right and center. Inhale, twist to the right. Exhale, center. Inhale, twist to the right and exhale, center. Inhale, both hands to the floor. And we're gonna come into, yeah, the quad stretch. Knee comes to the floor, reach for that foot. Keep opening your, up your heart to the right side of the room. Inhale, exhale, keep breathing. Keeping your left hand planted on the floor, lower your left foot to the side of your left foot, comes to the floor, and side plank. Your right leg comes back, your right arm reaches up, and hold here, inhale, lift the hips, exhale, lift the hips, exhale, lower, lift the hips, exhale, lower. Come back to center, lift the right foot, Right foot comes behind the ball of the foot. Flatten the left foot to the floor. And reach behind you for, what is this? <laughs> Bob Fosse pose. Keep breathing, pushing that left hand into the floor. Rock star, that's what it is. Inhale, lower the hands to the floor. Lift the right leg, the three-legged dog. Exhale, the right foot comes between the hands. And you're going to bring the left foot behind you to set up for Agni Stambhasana, fire-legged pose. This time the right ankle is over the left knee and just over a little bit. The right knee is above the left ankle. Both feet are flexed. Keep those feet flexed. Inhale, lift your body for a little space. Exhale, walk your hands forward. You might be a little tighter or just a little different on this side. So um, check in with that. Bring your elbows to the floor if possible. Lower your head. Keep breathing. Inhale, lift back up. Your feet or toes are going to come to the floor. Kitties love yoga mats. And lift up to your boat pose, whatever that is today, and keep breathing. A little extra resistance today. <laughs> Bring your hands six inches behind your hips and uh, yes, your hips and lift your hips to reverse tabletop. Drop your head if possible and keep breathing. Hips lift for the ceiling each breath. And inhale, your hips back to the floor. Lift your legs up again to grab your toes for Yogi Toe Lock. And inhale, lift the legs to the side. And five breaths here. Drop those feet down, wide-legged seated forward fold, walk your hands forward, 
as far as you can. Maybe bring the elbows down, bring the forehead down. You can also um, hold on to your toes with yogi toe lock and keep breathing. Inhale, lift back up. Cross the left foot over the right. Roll forward. Upper step back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to plank and lower all the way to the floor. We're gonna come into locust pose, Shalambhasana. Your feet are together, feet are flat on the floor. Bring your hands back to the sides of your body, palms down, bring your forehead to the floor. Take a breath here. On your inhale, lift the head, the shoulders, the arms, the legs. The legs are reaching for the back of the room in five breaths. and lower to the floor. Bring one cheek to the floor. Shake out your hips, roll them from side to side. Shake out a little bit. Now bring your left arm in front of you and then just turn over to your back. We're gonna come into bridge pose. Bring your feet, hips width distance apart, knees pointing to the ceiling. Your hands are reaching for your heels. And on your inhale, tuck your tailbone, lower your lower, middle, upper back. You may be able to roll your shoulder blades under, clasp your hands, and keep breathing, thinking about the hips reaching for the sky. Inhale, exhale, one, keep reaching. Inhale, lower back down to the floor. And we're gonna take one back bend today, one wheel. So inhale, your hands up, flex your hands, bring your hands in front of your shoulders, plant the palms on the floor. And on your next inhale, lift the hips all the way up to wheel. And keep breathing here, thinking about your hips reaching for the sky and opening up your shoulders as well. And lower back down to the floor, tucking your chin. Bring your feet back. Windshield wiper your knees back and forward. Bring your feet hips width distance apart. But just drop your knees to the right. And then we're going to use that right ankle over on top of the left thigh to open up that left hip a little bit. Keep breathing. Drop that right ankle, lift knees back to the ceiling, and drop to the left. Left ankle lifts, place it on top of your right thigh, and use that left ankle to increase the stretch a little bit more on the right side. And then lift your left ankle off. Knees come back to the center. We're going to come into a plow pose. Lift your hips over your head. Toes are reaching for the floor behind you. You can keep your hands, use them as brakes. Just pull this pose a little bit more. 
The hips continue to lift up as you breathe. And slowly lower your torso to the floor. Your hips reach the floor. You can lower your legs. And this is where we're going to start cooling down from our fiery postures we've been building this whole time, the heat we've been building, and come into our the ice portion of the class. As we know, winter will be at least up here where I am in Jersey City. Take that pillow or the block. I'll show you the, the way the pillow. You need to fold it over a bit, and that's going to come under your hips. And we're going to come into a yin yoga version of shoulder stand to start that cool down. So your hips are resting on the pillow. And then you can just keep your arms down. Stop that kitty. Kitties love to chew on packages. Lift your feet up to the ceiling. And you can just relax your feet. We're just going to have our legs floating up in the air. And it feels really good. So you can keep your ujjayi breath for this, but you are starting to cool down. We'll take 10 breaths. Right, move that pillow out from under your hips. Bring your legs to the ground. We're going to set up for fish pose. So the forearms come to the floor. Your hands or palms up facing the ceiling. And then drop your head back to the crown of your head is resting on the floor for fish pose. And I usually like to stretch out my face on this one too so a little lion's breath which is just opening the mouth and breathing out to bring your chin to your chest and roll all the way down. We're going to take another yin pose before we go into our Shavasana. This is called Banana Asana. And it's like you're making a C shape as if you're doing this, but you're on the floor. So come back to the floor. Just start where your legs are straight down and your arms, reach your arms up the right hand can grab the left hand and then you're going to lift your head and your shoulders and move them over to the right and then drop them back to the floor and walk your feet over to the right your heels over to the right keeping your buttocks on the floor you may be able to lift your left foot and cross it over the right and keep breathing Still using your Ujjayi breath here. Inhale back to the center. And exhale over to the left side. You, this time your left hand is grabbing your right wrist and gently push, pulling it over to the left side. Make sure both buttocks are on the floor and your right foot can cross over your left foot and keep breathing.
Now straighten everything back and we're going to find Shavasana. Shavasana, corpse pose. And I'm going to do this with you this time and walk you through a little bit of yoga nidra. So make sure your arms are down, they're not touching anything. Your legs can be a little bit more than hips width distance apart. You can drop your ujjayi breath and just find a natural breath. Close your eyes. And I want you to focus on your toes. You might clench them for a second and then release them completely. Relax your toes, your ankles. Clench your legs, point your feet, and completely relax them. Relax your knees. Relax your buttocks your hips. Relax your ribs. Relax your shoulders. Clench your hands and relax. Completely relax your hands. Your wrists drop all tension your wrists, are your elbows relaxed, Just travel up to your neck, just think about your neck completely relaxing. Check in with your face. Is, are you holding any residual tension in your face? You don't need to smile. You don't need to frown. Just completely relax your face. Relax your eyeballs. Relax the hair on your 